The monthly planner spread in your planner isn't just another set of boxes to fill in. It can be a powerful tool for gaining perspective, planning ahead, and staying organized amidst life's hustle. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me for another video. This is Marquita from At Home with Keaton here. I share tips on how to plan a balanced life. So if you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing. So in today's video, it's gonna be all about 30 things to track in the monthly spread of your planner. I feel like the monthly spread of planners is sometimes neglected. I use mine all the time because I like to use it as an overview, but I do find that some people think that it's hit or miss they don't really use the monthly spread for whatever reason. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you 30 things that you can track in your monthly planner if you feel like you're kind of at a loss with where to start and you feel like you really don't need it. I'm kind of gonna show you why you do need it. So that's what we're gonna cover in today's video. So this is my monthly planner spread for the current month. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you in planning for next month kind of what I put into this section or what I put into the monthly spread. So that way you can kind of see some things that you can track for yourself. But first you need to ask yourself why use a monthly spread. And I think that's the reason why a lot of people tend to neglect this or overlook it. You have to look at the big picture perspective because it does help you to see the overall picture of everything and all the priorities that you need to accomplish for that month. And that allows you to kind of break them down into actionable steps that you're gonna to use to plan for your weekly spreads. It's also perfect for jotting down seasonal tasks, special events, and reminders that don't necessarily fit into the weekly plans. So all of that can be tracked here as well. So those are a couple of reasons why I think you should use a monthly spread because in my opinion, I do feel like that everybody has either those seasonal tasks, special events, reminders, things like that that they can put here. Even if they don't feel like they're gonna fill it up, you can, you do have something that you can put in this section that will help you towards achieving your goals and staying organized, okay? So do you need a monthly calendar? I say yes. Um, you can consider using separate calendars for various aspects of your life. So as you can see, this is my personal section. So I've got everything planned out for that. But then I also have a calendar for my work. So within my work section, I have things that I need to track specifically for work. I also have a home section which has the kids schooling. Well, not kids because one of my kids is 20. <laughs> but I recently incorporated a calendar because I did have a full on uh, planner in here and I just felt like it was too overwhelming. So we consolidated down just to monthlies. I know school is almost done, so we'll just really need April and May. And here you can track tests and grades and things like that. Um, and then I have one for fit, um, not fitness, but I also have one for finances. So stay tuned you guys because I am about to change some things up. Well, actually I don't have one for, I could have one here, but I don't, well, hold on. I'm pretty sure, okay, I do. Okay, so this, excuse the blankness of this, okay? Because I know this video is all about 30 things to track, but we're really gonna be focused on the personal spread because a lot of people don't have separate monthly planners. They, only, they may only have just one to track everything because this is a lot. Um, so this is what works for me, but again, you gotta do what works for you. And I'm hoping that through this video, it'll kind of help you to identify what would work for you. But I have some exciting things coming, okay? Because I decided, I've been a little stubborn with my finances. That's why this is blank. I've been kind of thinking that I can just track a couple of things and then wing the rest. And y'all, I'm really kind of struggling, okay? Um, y'all know, or if you're new here, you don't know, but this, the finances that you see here are just my personal finances, our household expenses, things like that are tracked separately. So I have my own credit cards. I have my own income that comes from social media and various sources. This isn't not shop income or any other thing that we're doing. It's just for my stuff that comes in specifically for me that I kind of, you know, budget the way that I see fit. And then we come together as a family to budget our household expenses. But I'm struggling a little bit with, with my expenses. So I have decided that I am going to implement cash envelopes. Now we have a ton of cash envelopes in our shop. I tried them before, but I tried them more of a cashless cash envelope system. 
I'm going to see what is going to work for me now because I do do, I, I don't really deal with cash. So I'm curious to see how it's going to work for me, but I heard it's life changing. So comment below. Let me know. Do you use cash envelopes? I heard that you can save so much money. And so that's what I'm hoping to do. So I'm developing some new products that are going to help for me. And as you guys know, whenever I develop new products for myself, I always share them with you in hopes that they will help you as well. So just a little tidbit of what's coming to the shop. We're going to be focusing on some major financial stuff and on this channel too. Not to say that this channel is going to turn into a budgeting channel because it's not. It's you know always going to be just a general planning channel and organization, uh, Amazon finds things like that. Um, but it is going to be, in, it's, it, I'm going to throw y'all a curveball. We're going to add some, some financial stuff in here. And it's just, it's going to be on a basic level, easy to understand. And I'm just going to really show you what I'm doing and hopes that that will help you too. So sorry to get off track because I know this is all about your monthly spread, but I just wanted to share with you that you can have different monthlies for different sections of your life. Um, or you could just put everything all on this. So that's what we're going to focus on in this video. Some things that you can use for your monthly calendar are space saving stickers, because of course the box is only so big. So you want to make sure you're using stickers that will help you to uh, be able to attract the things you need to track, but it also needs to kind of fit in the space. You could also use washi tape. So I love these little washi tape strips here and we're going to talk you through how to use all of that stuff. And um, also I like to pre-plan as well. So I have these little sticky notes right here and how you'll use these, you'll need a, a Sharpie or some sort of permanent marker, which I do have here in my planner. But sometimes I don't feel like planning for the month like we are in April. I am going to go ahead and plan for May just for the purpose of this video. But sometimes I'll keep in the monthly or the whole set of inserts for the next month and i just want to come in here and pre-plan so that's where these will come into play because you'll go ahead and write in whatever that task is and you'll just stick it in your planner on the day that it's supposed to occur and then when you get ready to actually sit down and finalize your spread you'll pull up the sticky note and then you'll go ahead and write it in permanently and this will also allow you if, if things are like you know they may change then you can move them around so that's the beauty of sticky notes so you can put it on whatever day it goes in and if you find out later that it actually isn't going to occur on that day then you can switch it up so these are a good little thing to have too so the stickers the washi tape and something like this would be great to add to your collection so that you could use for your monthly planning okay and then also I would say to experiment with alternative layouts. I know there's so many different layouts when it comes to monthly, but it's going to pretty much look like this. So you're going to have all of your set of boxes. You may have a little list here on the side and for some planners are dated. Of course, ours are undated. I feel like it gives you so much more flexibility. And so we choose to keep ours undated and that seems to work, but just, you know, look to see which layout is going to work best for you based on what you need to track. All right, so consider that as well, because there's just so many different formats. Um, and especially for, you know, the various parts of your life, like for personal, something like this may work. For work, you may need a little bit of a different monthly layout. But again, it's going to pretty much be or look the same way, but do what best works best for you. All right, so let's get into these 30 things that you can track on your monthly spread. All right, so I'm going to list a bunch of things that you can track. So make a list if you'd like. Um, I also do have this insert in our shop, which helps tremendously. And it's one of our most popular inserts, a hundred things to track in your planner, right? So some of these things or some of these things rather can go on your monthly spread. And so this just gives you an idea. It comes in vellum or it comes in actual paper insert. So this is vellum for me. And this just gives you a hundred things that you can track in your planner. So you can also start here. So some of these things I'm going to mention are on this list and some of the things may not be on this list. Okay. All right. So, uh, and again, I'm going to be writing in my plan. So the first thing I need to do is date everything. And then I'm going to talk you through the things that you can add to this. And some of the things I may add based on if I have that available, like if I need to add that. And then some things I'm just going to share with you that you can add that if it applies to you. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and date this out first. This is for May. So the cool thing is that I'll already be planned for May, which is awesome. All right. So I'm not going to talk you through this. We'll fast forward through this and then I'll come back and then we'll move on with this phase two. <laughs> All right. So I have everything dated. I have also some stickers that I'm going to be using. 
which are in my drawer. Let me grab those. All right, I have our two sticker books. We're hoping to add more sticker books this year as well. Functional pastels and watercolor florals. All right, so first thing that you can track in your planner, and I'm gonna kind of break them down by sections. So this is the tasks and reminders section. So you could totally track habits here. Now I don't track my habits here because I have a specific section in my planner spread that I like to track my habits. Um, so that's one thing that you can track under the tasks and reminders. You can also track last time I did. So if you're confused or you're not sure as to what kind of things you should add to your last time I did list or what you should be checking for, you can always Google that, but like, when's the last time you changed your filters? When's the last time you changed your bed sheets? You should be changing that weekly, okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> but those are some things that you should be checking for. When's the last time I did, okay? So you could track all of that here. So you may write like, you know, change filters, um, you know, on whatever day you wanna change that, but that's something that is just an idea. Um, you can also add your cleaning schedule here. So you guys know I do zone cleaning. Um, and so with zone cleaning, you are identifying specific parts of your house that you're kind of lumping together that are in the same area. And you are cleaning that section of your house. Okay, so I don't typically like to add that here, but I'll just show you kind of how that looks on a weekly basis. Because you also need to remember that your you don't have that much space you this is all you have so you know you want to track the things that um, you may need more of an overview look of as opposed to a detailed look which means you could add it to your weekly spread so what i would do when it comes to cleaning is i would just put it on my side bar here i wouldn't put it on that because i also feel like there's sometimes things are just every single week and i don't always want to write that thing every single day every of every single week you know what i mean some stuff i do um, and some stuff I just don't like the cleaning. I, I know my cleaning schedule, but I do like to write it. I have it in my planner, but I don't always, I don't, I typically never write it on each day on the monthly, not on the weekly. I will. Okay. So there's seven days of the week. So I need seven slots and this is just for decor there. I feel like sometimes when you put down a sticker like this, you're not actually intending to check it off. <laughs> especially with something like this, you're just putting it there just to see. And because it's occurring every single day, so it would have to have, you know, multiple of these. All right, so that's how I would put mine. And then I would just write cleaning at the top. Okay, and I'll write schedule. And then I'll write in all of the tasks associated with my cleaning schedule. But again, I typically write this in my weekly spread on that day of the week. Sometimes I don't feel like cleaning whatever that zone I'm supposed to do for that day, and I may put it on a different day, okay? Okay, so that's how that would look for me. All right, another thing that you can track under the task reminders is most important tasks of the day. So if you have something that's like super duper important for that specific day, then you'd want to go ahead and write that in here so that you can see. Because remember also that, you know, well, how I plan is from week to week, I'm coming here and I'm looking what I'm doing for that particular week. And then I'm going in and I'm planning my week out. So this needs to be really, really detailed, as detailed as possible in order for me to be able to transfer it to that specific week. Okay, so you could put the, the most important task of that day. And then also you wanna add your once a month only tasks. So if you know that there's things that you only do one time a month, then you wanna add that here, okay? So for me, I don't have anything that I only do once a month. Um, I don't really have any, anything like that, okay? <laughs> um, and I'm, so I'm gonna add in all of my other things as well once we kind of get to that stuff. And some stuff, um, of course, is gonna just be specific for you. Like I add my ministry stuff here, so that's just for me. Um, I like to add in you know, my tennis practice, that's just for me, you know, things like that, okay? Um, and then also your special events and anniversaries. And that's a big one for me. So I typically keep people's anniversaries on my phone so I can get a reminder. Um, but I also like to write them in here because I look at my planner daily and I need to make sure that I am telling that person happy anniversary. So let's see if I have anyone's anniversary in May that I need to track. Okay, I have someone on the 22nd 
And let's see how I wanna identify that because it's a special day, it needs to stand out. I don't showcase the sticker book enough either, you guys. This is our most recent um, sticker book. It's called Watercolor Florals. I did feature the, the um, our first sticker book a lot, Functional Pastels, but then I, I didn't really feature the second one. All right, so let's see if I want to, I guess, stay in the same color scheme since I started with that peach. We will continue with that peach. And let's see which one I want to use. I guess I'll use a little flag to indicate anniversaries. But don't overthink it. Okay, and their anniversary is on the 22nd of May. And usually I like to put how many years to but I didn't ask them how many years. All right. All right, now I just abbreviated that because it couldn't fit. Okay, anniversaries, appointments, of course. So I'm gonna go in and add a ton of appointments um, and then I will we'll talk through the next one. This is gonna take probably the longest because I've got a ton of appointments. And I consider appointments just anything that I'm going somewhere. So I'm not gonna break it up into, I'm just gonna go ahead and add it all my appointments, okay? Um, so there's a lot of things that are recurring so like every Monday I have tennis practice every Thursday I have tennis match every Friday I have tennis practice you know things like that every Saturday is ministry so I'm going to go ahead and just go for it all right so we'll stay in the peach theme and I like to stay consistent with what I use for what so if I'm going to go let's say on a um, Monday we do Bible study with Addison then I need to make sure that I'm using the same box every single Monday. I just like, you know, just add in all of my appointments. So I added those boxes there because that's going to be for, um, I'm going to go ahead and put in all my ministry stuff first for Addison's Bible study. I like uniformity. So if I'm using a box for one thing, I'm going to continue that box throughout the whole entire, um, every Monday. Um, I just like it that way. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and write all, I'm gonna do all my ministry stuff and then I'll come back and I'll talk to you about, you know, I'll at least try to break it down with what I'm adding, um, even if it's just, if, even if it's recurring, if that makes sense. Um, so I'll come in and check in with you guys because this is gonna be probably the bulk of time it's gonna take is writing in all of my tasks for the entire month. Um, so again, we're just talking about appointments right now. Most of my appointments, pretty much everything, uh, mostly recurring stuff. I also like to come here and I look at my at a glance pages and I see what we have going on in that particular month. So 
Addison's starting swim team, which is really cool. I'm really excited about it. Heard lots of good things about it. Um, if you are a swim mom, comment below because I need your expertise. Um, I heard that the match days or the swim meet days are super long. I need to know what to bring. I need to know like all the things, okay? And then we're also required to volunteer. So what does that entail? Comment below, let me know what you know, okay? So she's starting her first meet, or not first meet, but her first practice is on the 13th of May. I also like to track tennis. Um, so as you can see, I added all my tennis practice days, but the French Open starts in May. The last day of school is in May. Um, and then she's got her practice meet in May and then her first official meet. I'm also supposed to be going to a jazz concert. So these are all the things that I first added here because this is where it starts for me. And then I use that information to transfer it onto my monthly. I don't put any recurring things there, only just appointments and things like that, which again is what we're trying to cover here. So as you can see, that took the bulk of my time to just write in all the recurring things and then there may be a couple of one-offs here and there like again we talked about anniversaries um, and then the next thing that we're gonna cover is bills so I do like to write my bills here for the whole entire month because that just helps me to stay on track with them I don't have that many bills they're just mainly credit cards my um, fitness membership because again this is just for me um, we do the other bills and all that stuff separately so I'm gonna go ahead and write in all the things that were on my at a glance pages and um, so that way I could have that on my calendar. And sometimes I'll indicate different things that are not recurring with different colors. You know, you can color code or I'll, I'll use like a bigger sticker like this so it can stand out a little bit more. So take those things into consideration too. I'm not a super huge color coder. I like to just, um, you know, write in the stuff. I don't like to color code, um, but you can by all means do that if that is something that's gonna work for you. Okay, and I'm using all of the same sort of colors, well not sort of colors, all the same colors because I feel like um, it's easier for you to kind of see what I'm talking about as I'm explaining things. I didn't want it to be super busy and you not be able to, to kind of follow along with what I'm you know, trying to help you to see. All right, so that's kind of why I did that. Okay, so I'm gonna indicate um, those things with this just so it stands out a little bit more so again the 13th we have something so I'll put this here and then I also have tennis practice on Mondays but that will probably be ending this month in April so I probably don't need to track that I have a separate practice on Friday um, like a semi-private okay so the 20th all right and then last day of school is the 22nd Okay, and then I'm supposed to go to a concert on the 25th. So it's all up to you with how you want this process to be. You could just go day by day, or you could say, first I'm gonna fill in all of my appointments. Now I'm gonna fill in all of my recurring. Then I'm gonna fill in all of my bills. You could just do it however works for you. Um, sometimes I'm all over the place. I do like to come in and start first with everything that you just saw me do. And then I'll come in like I'm doing now and add in my extra things. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and write in what all of this is. So as you can see, as you start to write things in based on the list that I'm sharing with you, you'll see how much you actually can write on your monthly. Cause I know sometimes people may feel like, well, I'm not that busy, you know? You kind of won't be able to see how busy you actually are by writing things in. That's why planning is so beautiful. Okay, so next thing that you can use this for is for bills. And that's a big thing for me. And I'm gonna indicate that with a different color because I definitely want that to stand out. So we'll do that in mint green. And we'll just do a little dot. I don't have that many bills. Again, if you have a separate planner where you're tracking this, you can just keep it there, I do. But I like to see it on my main calendar too because I feel like my main calendar is where I'm coming in every day. And I do try to check in with my financial planner every day too, my budget planner, but sometimes it's hit or miss if I'm being honest. So I like to just put it on this calendar too and that's what helps me. And again, for those of you who are just only using one, which I do recommend, especially if you're starting out, then you definitely wanna highlight here on the main calendar. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a dot in on every day that I have a bill due, and then I'll come back in and I'll write in what that bill actually is.
All right, so I did all of my bills. So this is a lot, I know. But again, this is everything that needs to go on the monthly in my opinion. And again, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna look at the week. So I'm gonna look at this week right here and I'm gonna transfer all of this stuff to my weekly layout. So that gives you the basic foundation of your weekly spread. And then you're gonna add to it based on any other things that come up during the week. Okay, so we just talked about budgeting. So bills due, daily spending. Um, you wanna add any life updates. So um, anything that you feel like you need to add there in terms of your life. Also, I like to do TV shows shows and movies so if there's something that I really like that I'm watching then I will definitely add that here and they have other little icon stickers that you can add um, so you could have like a TV icon to represent that any bills you could have like a little dollar sign so it's just up to you with how you really want to decorate this I'm just giving you some ideas of what you can add here so if you have TV shows or movies like there may be a movie coming out that you want to watch you can add that here on the movie release date also pet care reminders so like our dogs go to the groomers i don't take them so i don't add them to my calendar <laughs> but my husband does um and so you could add that here anything that has to do with your pet also things you want to learn so right now i am learning to um, further or get better at marketing my business i have multiple different businesses so i'm taking a course called the roadmap um so comment below let me know if you're familiar with that it's helped me with my um i've been sharing a lot of short form videos with how you can become an amazon product reviewer um, and i have created some digital products and so that's Help me with that so I do like to track um, when I'm learning because I'm kind of going at my own pace with learning it's a lot to it and it helps you with any business so it goes over marketing social media how to create your email list how to create your funnel all of that stuff it covers it's really really cool um, so if you have any information or question not information if you have any questions on that let me know and I'll be happy to share with you more details but um, I am uh, of course taking that course and so I like to write in you know kind of how I'm breaking that up because it is a lot uh, and I feel like you know going heading into the weekends is what works best for me I don't do it every Friday but I do like to track that I would like to do it every Friday so that way it'll encourage me to do it every Friday Okay, and if I don't get to do it, then that's just what it is, okay? So again, we're talking about learning. So if there's a book you wanna read, if there's um, something that you wanna learn how to do, like Addison is learning crochet. So you would add those types of things to your calendar to remind yourself that, you know, that's what you're trying to do. Any goals that you have towards you know, your learning are always a good idea to write in your planner okay so i'm just going to use this little sticker to indicate and i'm just going to write roadmap on here because that's what i'm doing right now and writing it in is what's going to help me to remember to do it because life be lifing okay all right all right so we covered uh, any sort of things that you want to learn lessons classes you're taking all of that can go in your monthly spread Okay, and then when it comes to food and health, I don't typically write any of this here. So I'm just gonna kind of uh, Talk you through it um, Because any food and health things are gonna go in my home section my meal planner section and my fitness section Okay, so you could write in your meals so you could come here and write Monday through Sunday I do like to write that in my weekly planner as well as my uh, menu planner uh, but you could write Monday through Sunday here and then you could write in what you're having for those specific days of the week so that you don't have to write them on every single day. Or you could plan out your whole entire month of meals here. Okay. You could also write in a list of recipes you want to try for that month. And I would definitely write that in on the sidebar. Um, any weight loss. So if you weigh yourself at the beginning of the month and let's say at the end of the month, I will put a little scale here and here and then write in what your weight is. Also, maybe your calorie intake, your menstrual cycle, any mood. Like if you want to, sometimes I'll come in and write a smiley face or a frowny face or like a halfway smile frown face to let myself know and look back on how I was feeling for that day. Also, maybe some exercise routines, daily steps. Steps is a great thing to track here. Maybe an illness, illness tracker, especially if you have young kids, um, maybe a good thing to write in here. Um, and then any health checkups. So if you need to go to the dentist, if you need, if you have an eye appointment, anything like that, then you'll definitely want to write that in here. Vaccinations, screenings, anything like that, write it in 
please you, you should okay maybe your blood pressure um, all of those things are great things to write on your monthly spread okay when it comes to food and health yeah. all, right. all right lastly is business stuff so I do have a whole separate planner that I use for my business stuff as you guys know so I don't track any of this stuff here but here are some ideas if you do want to do an all-in-one again we're talking about if you don't want to break things out you just want to put track it all in one monthly spread so you could do your blog content planning your social media planning maybe your follower accounts like your all your statistics all your statistics, um, new subscribers per day, also sales goals, your daily revenue. If you travel, you can write in your mileage. All of that can go here as well. Um, so again, sky's the limit. It's up to you with what you want to add here. I just like to give you an idea of some of the things that you can add to help make planning better and to really make sure that you are doing all the things that you want to do to make sure that you are uh, achieving all the goals that you want to achieve okay i also one thing that i do like to add here uh for under the food and health is to order groceries <laughs> i like to order it typically on that saturday and then have them delivered on sunday so i do like to have the reminder here okay so that's the only thing when it comes to meal planning that i add here because I will forget and it's crazy because it's a routine but sometimes I forget all right perfect so this is how my monthly calendar would look okay and again there's different layouts but everything is pretty much gonna look just like this and you shouldn't run out of space, to be honest with you. But if you have a lot going on, then you might be tracking a little bit too much on your monthly spread. Um, and you may need to just track that in your weekly spread. I know somebody, I know people's handwriting isn't always the smallest. And so sometimes it's hard to write in the little boxes. So just, you know, do what you can and use the sidebar as well. Also pop in some pages if you need to. So don't feel like you always have to just write in the box, especially if it's something like this. Again, I'm not gonna write what I'm cleaning every single day of the week. So I could just use the sidebar to track something like that. I also like to track um, every now and then, I'll track the wacky holidays. So you know, sometimes they'll have like um, sister day or like, you know, planning day or like sticker day, you know, stuff like that. Uh, you could just Google it and it'll give you a wacky calendar and that'll give you like all the little wacky holidays. Um, you could track that too because sometimes you may want to make a post on like national sister day or um, give a friend a hug day things like that are really cute things to track to just keep um, keep the fun in your life you know what I mean and I would definitely track that on the day that it occurs all right so this is how my weekly spread would look I have everything here from all of my appointments to all of my bills to all of my errands um, any anniversaries uh, I there's not too much going on with schooling because it's winding down. And again, the last day of school would be here. They're taking milestone testings now. And I think that should be done. Actually, let me just check and make sure because I do like to have a couple of school things there because I do, I, you know, I have a whole nother calendar for school, but a lot of things I write here, even though they are on those calendars, it just depends on how important it is. So let me just check the school calendar just to make sure. Yeah. Oh. There is one thing I forgot, and I'm so glad that I um, looked, but they had a field trip that is on the 9th, and I'm a room mom, so I need to be there, and I'm excited about it, and she's excited. Okay, and then that's it. I'm looking at the school calendar, and that is it. Yeah. Okay. So this is how my monthly calendar would look. I love using my monthly calendar, it's awesome. I have to have it. And so what I would do from here, again, this is my current April calendar. As you can see, we have everything filled in. It starts here for me, and I'm so glad that I'm gonna be planned up for May because it does take a little bit longer. Um, I love planning, so it's a little bit therapeutic for me. Don't feel like you have to use all the stickers, by the way. You could just write it in, okay? So don't feel like this is a lot. 
just use stickers. Um, but I'm so glad that I am pre-planned up for May. Again, if you don't want to pre-plan with um, stickers, you're not quite ready to plan yet, then you'd use something like this or sticky notes to go ahead and just pop it on the calendar. And then when you're really ready to plan, then you'll come in and you'll actually plan everything out. But this is kind of how that would look for me. You could also add some decorative stickers. I did have these stickers that I wanted to use because I just felt like they're so pretty. These are in our current subscription box. And um, so this was a part of this, this. These were the stickers that they received. And I did want to add some of these to here just to jazz it up a little bit. But again, do you don't do anything that someone else is doing just because you think you have to. If you just want to write it in and you don't want to use any stickers or you don't want to use any anything besides just pen to paper method, that's what you do. Okay. All right, I I'm supposed to be using this for my monthly spread. I'll add a better butterfly. Um, not my month. Did I just say my monthly spread? I'm in my weekly spread. If I'd said monthly, I meant weekly. Um, these are so pretty. So pretty. I don't want to use that. Okay, I'm not gonna use it anymore because I just feel like I want it. I want to use these for my weekly spread. Um, this is how the boxes look, and then they always come with some icons. Okay, so before this video gets too long, right? And I am gonna forward through a lot of what you see when you see me decorating things. Um, so just know that and if you want to know the stickers i used again i just used a few stickers from garden florals which is the current sticker box you won't be able to get that because it's only for subscribers and i used functional pastels which is right here i used a couple of stickers from watercolor florals and then i used our hexagon stickers and these come in multiple different colors and they come in transparent glossy or matte these are awesome okay and that is how I achieve this look. Very simple, very basic, but gives me everything that I need to make sure that I'm tracking all the things. Starts with my at a glance pages, which I told you about already. And then I bring it here to monthly. And then from the monthly, only for that specific week, I'm gonna transfer it into my weekly spread. I don't plan the whole month in my weekly spread. All right, y'all. So that is the end of this video. So if you didn't think you ever needed the monthly spread i think you now know that you probably do and there are some people who just only use i'm sorry did i say weekly there are some people who just only use monthly uh planning they don't do anything in weeklies that's how important that the monthly is okay so that's it for this video you guys i really enjoy being back because y'all know i took a little time off I, I keep talking about that but i feel like i'm back in it to win it okay I felt like I just wasn't motivated to plan. I feel like, you know, for whatever reason. And I, but I do feel like with me having that lack of motivation, I wasn't able to complete or, or get as much accomplished as I usually am by planning. Okay. And as you can see, my planning has kind of dwindled down a little bit. I don't use all the things anymore. I use what I have and I recommend that you do the same and then pop in a couple of new things every now and then. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you sticking in there with me through this process. I hope it really helped you to see how you can use your monthly planner and how valuable these pages are to your overall success and making sure that you accomplish all of your goals. So thanks so much for watching. I hope that you guys will consider subscribing. If you're new here, give me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it and come on back and join me for another video, in which case I'll see you guys then.